Follow you, Galer, Green Usla, and the VC, August Fortune, good day on update show. Hi, uh, lovely people of the vinyl community. It's been a long time since I did a video. The sun is back, it's shining, it's resplendent, it's in adorned the magnificent Costello Towers with its bountiful rays of sunshine. And let's start this sunny update with a local release that was recorded here. Ben, can you show them St. John's Cathedral? It was recorded in St. John's Cathedral here in Limerick uh, about 10 years ago live. St. John's Cathedral is the only cathedral in the city and it is its spire, I think, is the eighth or ninth highest in Europe. Ben, you might pan across there and show them uh, Thomond Park, the world famous rugby ground. Rodas, that's for you especially. Uh, that's where Munster defeated the All Blacks in 1978. Anyway, back to this release. This is uh, an Irish improv folk group called United Bible Studies. Um, their members include their never ever changing revolving door group, but their members included at various points Onyo Dwyer, a fellow citizen of Limerick, although she now lives in London. But that's her album, um, Music for Church Cleaners, Volume 1 and Volume 2. And also this group, um, this Irish folk group, which came to preeminence in the 1970s called Mellow Candle. This is their debut called Swaddling Song. And this one is signed by Claude Simons. And uh, indeed, Alison Williams of this group also is a part of, of this um, modern folk improv group. So that's a very interesting release. I, I'll leave a quick sample for it. I purged my collection recently, got rid of a lot of stuff that I don't listen to anymore or stuff that I have on CD. There's no point in having CD and vinyl releases of the same item and particularly when the vinyls have worked too much I just flawed them. And I bought some pieces that have been, that have been long on my want list. Uh, principally this debut album by Incar's Nucleus. Uh, this is Elastic Rock and this is an original vertical swirl pressing and I also got their second one. Uh, which is called Solar Plexus. This one is actually a German swirl pressing. In car, of course, um, famous flugelhorn player, etc. And he was fascinated by the 1916 rising here in Ireland, even though he, I don't get any Irish blood in him. I think he may have been Scottish, but I'm not sure of that. But two songs on the debut are called Easter 1916. And I think his third album as well, we'll talk about it later, also features a track. Uh, just devoted to the 1916 Rising and indeed the cover art for their third album uh, features a still image from that particular rising time 101 years ago this year. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Campo, showed this one, Mary Lou, Mary Lou Williams, Black Price of the Andes, absolutely tremendous album. Um, Campo showed it there about a month ago and I was lucky to come across a reasonable copy of it. This was originally released in 1964, I got a 1965 German reissue on the Sable label. Uh, what is this? It's gospel, bop, bop jazz with some vocal works. This, the track Praise the Lord is a particularly stonking version and I really love the bass workout on Miss DD. But that's a fantastic album. Not cheap, mind you. Um, I was able to afford to buy it because of The Purge. Big shout out as well to James Buttery. Top three, Jamesy. Um, Fire Music, Archie Shep. I'm not sure if I showed this before, but you featured this many years ago, maybe two years ago, and it contains his reworking of the track girl from Ipanema. Um, big shout out to Chris Cole. Hi Chris if you're watching. Laura Allen, Reflections. Carm, you also showed this one. This is an electronic new age effort by Laura Allen featuring um, Paul Horn as well. Beautiful stuff. Just stunning stuff to listen to. Again, not cheap. And again, one that I've been waiting to get for a number of years. 
Carm, you featured this one. You actually did a full video on this effort, which is kind of like jazzy chamber music featuring some vocal work, but, sorry, some voice, but not vocal work of a lady called Aina Kamanis. This is a trio featuring Barr Phillips on bass and John Sermon, the, uh, the British uh, saxophonist, even though he also uh, lends his hand to some lovely synthesizer work. That's called Journal Violone 2. Uh, this is a recent release. It only came out last week. I bought it last week by Max Richter, who is a British composer, modern classical composer, even though he was born, I believe, in Germany, but I think he's not by nationality. He is British. And this is uh, his latest work on Deutsch gramophone, Three Worlds Music from the Wolf Works, dedicated to uh, Virginia Woolf. Beautiful um, electronica tinged modern classical. He's just a magnificent, uh, he's one of the modern greats, a magnificent composer. I'm a big fan of his work. I've shown a lot of it previously. This one, uh, another classical, classically trained composer, um, Hans Joachim Rodelius. I was very lucky to find this in Galway in a boot sale. This is Jardin au Feu, which I think translates to Mad Garden. Um, this was released in France on the Egg label. Very playful, joyful uh, effort, electroacoustic in many parts. It does contain some carousel music moments that are kind of frankly let, letting the whole piece down, but very solid effort. Strongly recommended for those that like electroacoustic ambient work. Of course, he went on to be a member of uh, Cluster, or he was a member of Cluster and of Harmonia. That's his debut solo. Last weekend, I found this one in the local flea market, Vertigo Original, yet another uh, Swirl Vertigo Original. This is Aphrodite's Child, Vangelis' group. Uh, absolutely fantastic prog album uh, with some really bizarre moments. There's one track in particular which I had to turn off because the kids were around. You know, you guys know the song, the side three track, but fantastic stuff. Very lucky to get that for effectively free. And finally, uh, something, uh, something moving by Mary Watkins on the all-female Olivia label. This is just tremendous stuff. I came through her work via New Habes, who is the Japanese hip hop, instrumental hip hop performer of a number of years ago. I think he's he's uh, sadly departed. But this is just tremendous work. I particularly love. There's some vocal work on this, but for me, the standouts are the Fender Rhodes work on. Uh, particularly on According to the People and Back Rap. And this is entirely produced, performed, composed by female musicians. And that's my lot. Lightning quick update. I'm off now to enjoy the sunshine.